about Sal Anthony before I get out of here. Um, first of all, I want to big up uh, Reggae Dance Hall A to Z uh, for having us here today. And uh, it's a treat to be here. It's always a treat to see the teacher. Uh, the fellow that's singing in the background here, maybe we'll start it over. This is a song I wrote with the late David Morris called Making It Harder. And uh, we decided we'd put a little reggae groove underneath it instead of its original uh, R&B track. And add a little jazz, a little rock guitar to it, too. And uh, Sal is, we're dying to get Sal to tour with us this summer, but uh, he's so book solid, I don't know when we're going to be able to do it. But we'll try. We'll try to squeeze in at open days. A phenomenal musician, a great songwriter. By the way, he, that Born on Third Bass song that you heard already do, he co-wrote that with me, too, and many, at least five or six of the songs on the album. He's a great writer. He's a great musician, great composer, great arranger. Uh, just a superb talent. Or a really fine human being is also my daughter's uh, godfather. Also, I want you to, you know, we got uh, Artie, Cuban, Kachib, Kaiba in the house. But I know you got some other um, artists on your label. Just give them a, just in case they're watching or they're going to watch it later, give them a shout out, all of them, if you remember them. Well, uh, we're still a very new label. But uh, we are, what's happened is that the, the success that's come to us from this first album, the Reggae Infusion album number one, um, has attracted other artists, uh, particularly some uh, great talent in Jamaica, to want uh, to come and record with us, tour with us, and I'm really excited about the people. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about them. I'll even play a little bit of their stuff for you. Um, the, um, the the Reggae Infusion album is really it's a compilation album. It actually has about seven different artists on it. Uh, the one that has really become the, the locomotive that pulls the whole train now is Cuban Cohiba. And I'm delighted because uh, we, we were just sort of palling around together. At that time, he was just a full-time concert promoter. I shouldn't say just. He was one of the best ever, and especially up here. And um, he would just say, you know, oh, you know by the way, I, I write songs. And I thought, oh, another guy to write songs. It's great. But, uh, in fact, he started playing me his stuff, and I said, why are you promoting? You could be you could be up there on the stage instead of behind the scenes. And uh, little by little, we just started working together. I won't go through each story, but because uh, every song does have a story. But we did get two songs by Artie on the album, and there'll be a whole lot more in the next one. And um, what's happened is that as this album has attracted attention and gained airplay and recognition uh, around the world, we had a girl that was nominated for an EME Award off of this album. Uh, new artists have come to us and said uh, they'd like to be part of this. And uh, one of them that you will hear today is an artist whose name is Shalai Burchell. She's a, a member for the past six years of the Grace Throwers, which is Jamaica's all-time gospel group. That group has been around actually since about 1970. Uh, she's been with them six years. They've had personnel, you know, kind of rotate in and out. But she's been with them with six years, but her contract permits her to be a solo artist as well. So I'm expecting that she will... Um, uh, have a chance to become a solo artist and do that on Capsicum Records. Uh, I brought two new things from her. Uh, one's a song called um, Only You Were Worthy, which is a gospel song put to reggae. And the other is a real surprise thing out of Shalai. It's a, um, a fusion of um, a dance hall, reggae, soca, and salsa. And she tears it up. It's called Get Up and Dance. I cannot wait to do the video on this. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've had a lot of people ask to be part of the video when we do it. And uh, I just think she's going to be a monster. She's a great, great voice. And uh, one of the really, really terrific people to work with, too. Two other artists that I'll mention who have also asked to come on board. One is a member of Lust. It goes by Trilly U. A superb talent. Great voice. Really versatile voice. Also a terrific writer and producer in his own right. And another gal who goes by Dolly Difference. That may, may not be a household word yet. It will be. She's a Sing J artist. And uh, she's going to be doing a duet with, uh, with Cuban Cohiba on that song that I already gave you a little taste of earlier called Don't Cry. And uh, she was the crowd favorite at the Sting concert in 2009 and the crowd favorite for the uh, St. Mary Me Come From concert in 2010. And we're looking for big things from her, too. And she's a terrific-looking gal as well, so... The fellows will have a treat with that, uh, as well as listening to her voice, which is terrific. All right, I want you to choose from number one. Okay, this is this is um, this this is only you are worthy. Bounce. 
Burchell, uh, I, I think she's destined to greatness, and um, before I, I move on with this particular uh, artist, uh, I just wanted to say that um, the track that you just heard and the one that you will hear afterward uh, was co-produced by myself and Reality, Joseph Weeks uh, of East Hartford, and a uh, five-time Calypso Monarch, a superb talent, uh, a musician as an artist, as a producer, as an arranger. Uh, a treat to work with. The stuff that was uh, played from the uh, Reggae Infusion album uh, I co-produced with uh, the one and only uh, uh, Osborne Joseph, better known to the world as Ifield, and he's located of course on Main Street in Hartford and he's got his own studio there as well. Uh, Ifield is an amazing triple threat, quadruple threat, quintuple threat, as an engineer, as, a, as, as an arranger, as a producer, as a musician. He can do it all and, and uh, he has that great listening ear. You have an idea, he helps you really make it come to life uh, on, the, on the songs. This, is, this song is called Get Up and Dance, and it's by Shalai, and it's co-produced by myself and co-written by myself and Reality Weeks. That's going to be the party record of the year. But uh, I, before I get out of here, I, I would be negligent if I didn't also big up the Red Stripe people from Wednesday night. We were down in Seymour, Connecticut, a new place for us, a place called Dewey's Pub. Great hospitality, gracious, gracious hospitality from George Dewey, who's the uh, owner of the pub and also the manager of 27 Prophets, the uh, punk rock band that played behind Cuban and, and Mario. Um, great musicians, terrific talents in their own right, and uh, Red Stripe made that whole night possible, and we're looking for a, a long and continuing and fruitful relationship with them. This was just a, just the beginning of just a little taste of what we can all do together. And uh, Cuban is the guy who enables all of these things. Uh, I just, I'm in the background there. I, I, I write the stuff, I help produce the stuff, I help promote it, but without, without, the, front, without the locomotive, the caboose ain't going nowhere. Teacher, the place was totally packed Wednesday night. You understand me?
Oh, you saw it on the internet. And the group that backs me up is a heavy metal, punk rock what band. What do you think about that? So imagine Cuban singing with a punk rock band. That's what I sung with. And I didn't get no time to rehearse, right? I just go there and I tell them to play. Just play. If you play punk rock or country and western or rock and roll, just play. I will angle it. So they was all nervous. Like, what, this Jamaican guy not going to be able to deal with our stuff. So meanwhile, they play and the music went. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> I just jump on the rhythm and work it. Yeah, I just jump on the rhythm and work it, you know. And everything good. At the end of the night, two girls came up. Lift up their shirt to show off uh, the Cuban Caiba topside their boobs. They, they wrote it right topside their boobs. I mean, down in, in Orlando, it happened before, but not like this one <laughs> in Canada. You understand me? So it was a good night. They, um, I have people that brought a cigar book, a, a book on the classical cigars in the world, and, and, and show me with gift. I have another person that went to Colombia and also brought back a Colombian pipe because I guess I don't want to sing with the Caiba cigar, but I have to keep carrying this Caiba cigar because that's what pay the bill. So big up to Icky Brothers Cuban Caiba company out there in Rock Island, Illinois. I know it's a tribe, some of the brothers didn't mention it. Big up to Red Stripe here because them is backing up the thing. And I also have another sponsor, you know, Bud Light, Budweiser, that I'm going to be doing a lot of shows for this year. Well, I'm letting you know that we're here every Saturday between hours of 12 and 3. And whenever you feel the vibes, you know, you feel the vibes daily. But when you feel the vibes, you come check with, come check with, okay? And there's a sponsorship or whatever we can get so we can push this all over because it's here for you. And this is powerful. It might be right here, but it's powerful for the world, along with Roger. Don't worry. Just like how you see a lot of information up on Facebook and YouTube with me, you just get this information to me. We get it up there to millions of people because what, what you don't understand is Cuban Caiba just came back. From, from Europe, I went to Amsterdam, I went to Holland, and I do a lot of shows over there, and I went straight into South Africa, Dublin, Johannesburg, Malawi, you understand me? That's where Cuban reach right now, and Roger can tell you, you see them already inviting me back, so my schedule is so tight, I'm trying to fit in at least the first two weeks in July to go back over there and, and do the same run again, you know? So that's where your boy reach, and thanks to you, because if it wasn't for you two, you was the element that helped me to be here today and encourage me, you understand me? So thank you, you know? One big up. I got one big up that I neglected, and I apologize for that. I have to say hello to and, and, and thanks to Vera O'Connor, yes. who uh, has arranged uh, the uh, talent committee for the uh, Springfield Carnival this summer, and they're meeting tomorrow night uh, over, over on State Street, I think it is. And um, I'll be there at 5 o'clock to uh, do our pitch for, for, for being part of it again this year. Oh, wait, we can't forget Maurice Lindsay. Oh, no. Maurice Lindsay. Never stop working and pushing young youths like me because I'm young enough, of course. Yeah, you did a tour for the DJ Sutton. Of course. Yeah, yeah. The girls, them love him so much. That's why them call him DJ Crush. Him got the idea. Him no wear no idiot clothes like Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> this is DJ Crush. See, big up to the mighty, 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 mighty Scotty D. Anyway, him there. Big him up. You know, see, yeah, man. All right, again, that is Mr. Adi Cuban, Cochiba, and also Mr. Melsa. Respect here. And we'll get the information to you, and we blast it out. And whenever you feel like coming back, come back. Yeah, man. Sorry, we have to run off. We just get a phone call. We have to go down to Hartford City and do another interview. And tonight, then we're going way back down somewhere in Milford to do another TV show. So, thanks again, Murray. See you. All right. This is what we call Reggae Dance Law A to Z. Biggest big goes out to DJ Crush, Mikey Dan, also Nighthawk, PhotoVideo.com. And in the studio.